So before I uh, go into depth on this particular piece of um, plywood and uh, the scenic material that I've applied to it, um, let's pop over to Google Street View and uh, just show you a few examples of um, the various tones and colours you can add to your grasses um, on an area which I'm about to start working on. So if we take a look at um, these two particular areas, you'll notice that there's a mixture of various types of different ground covers. There's grasses, bushes, weeds, and also as well, if you notice and you start looking down in amongst all the grass, there's a lot of different tones and colors sort of laid down in between all the grass blades themselves. As an example, you'll see here, there's a area where the actual grass itself looks almost red um, with the tips of the grass being that sort of typical green sort of grass color. So um, with the help of uh, some products, uh, I'm going to demonstrate on this particular board exactly how to achieve those finishes. So let's take a look at um, the new products that you can get from uh, Woodland Scenics. Um, and this is from the new field system. And what we got in front of you here is a packets of uh, four different colors of uh, hues. Now these are absolutely superb for creating various uh, shadows within amongst your grass uh, as well as things like seed heads for obviously your long tipped grasses um, so any sort of meadow grasses and stuff like that you can create some really good visual um, effects with just using these hues alone now i've also picked up um, the ascent shakers i'm sure you've seen them in previous videos and uh, these are designed for a nice sort of even application of the various different colors. So what I'm going to do now is um, have a look at the uh, board that I've prepared and uh, work some of these hues down into the grasses and uh, we'll take a look at the effects of what they create. So I've got um, some of the red already in the Ascent Shaker. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a few random areas and we're going to get some of those red hues Just a few random spots. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just drag my finger over the surface of them, of the uh, grass, and that actually then just forces the actual red hues down into the actual depths of the grass. And just moving on to the uh, slightly darker tan colour one. Again, we're just going to apply that in random places. And again, just using your tips of your fingers, just force that down into the uh, depths of the grass again. So you can see at this angle um, already how much uh, of an improvement that actually makes just the static grasses. Now I've also got a bit of dark green in here, so I'm just going to use that just to create the shadows. And again, just gently push that down into your grasses. So that's basically um, the effects that you can get with uh, just using the actual hues sprinkled over the grass. Um, obviously now it's in place uh, you need to seal it down so obviously you can use the uh, Woodland Scenics um, cement or you can just use a, a very light misting with any type of glue just diluted down. Right okay so I just brought the camera down to a different angle and I've got myself a paintbrush uh, which the bristles are quite open um, which is perfect for what the next stage we're going to do to this. And I've also just got a small dollop of PVA glue and I'm just gonna dip my brush into that and remove as much as I possibly can and then I'm just gonna carefully wipe the paintbrush over various places some of the higher grasses
and I've gone for the lighter colour um, of hues and I'm just going to sprinkle those over the tops. So for that um, technique alone what you create is the uh, seed heads that you would find um, on sort of meadow grasses, you know, the ones where you walk past and um, the stems are about sort of two or three feet long and uh, they've got all the seed heads all on one stem. It also adds a nice bit of shadowing, um, extra shadowing to it as well, as you can see. The tones and the colours are really beginning to make a massive difference. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the uh, next methods that we can do to even bring it alive even further and um, again from Woodland Scenics is the um, packs of four coloured uh, flower hues. Now these are a little bit coarser than the um, the dusting that I've just done a minute ago uh, but the methods are pretty much the same as, as I did with the uh, uh, grass seed heads is to use the ascent shakers and then sprinkle those over random areas of your grasses uh, again just using the brush with glue to uh, catch the tips of your um, grasses. And with the application of glue on these, I can be a little bit more generous. Because you really want the flowers to impact. And I've just selected the yellows. And to finish off with a few red ones as well. Now what I tend to do after this is um, just go over the surface with a hoover and that will just pick up any of the uh, flower hues that have sunk down off, uh, has obviously made any contact with the stems. There we go, as uh, you can see that really does just give all your grasses another level of realism. Got the uh, wild flowers growing plenty of seed heads and of course the shadowing. So also as well um, I'll give a demonstration on how useful um, these particular plant hues are at making uh, very small flowers that you can place in random places as well. simple mixture of uh, two types of grasses are used. Uh, you want um, a two millimeter lush green short and I'm um, also using a straw long which is a straw color of six millimeters. The mixtures for these is a about 70 percent of the short grass with about 30 percent of the longer stuff. Just be sure to mix them all up thoroughly. I'm just going to use a piece of um, clear plastic and um, some ordinary PVA wood glue. I'm also just using a barbecue skewer and I'm just going to create very small spots. Roughly about an inch apart from one another. So 
So these tufts are relatively easy to remove from the uh, clear piece of plastic and what I'm going to do is just dip them into the uh, PVA glue and with um, the glue on the tips just going to use any random colour you want and instantly you can see we picked out the longer stems that were on the static grasses so you end up with a very nice bunch of flowers that uh, will look good in any garden. With an older paintbrush I'm just going to take a few bristles and just trim those Got roughly probably about three or four there maybe a few more and they're cut about sort of 15 millimetres pop some white flowers on the end of those as well using uh, exactly the same methods as I did with the red ones So again, just fixing those into position and um, using some of the uh, plant hues, sprinkle um, some of those around the actual plant bases and that will uh, blend a lot together. Now another reasonably new product from Woodland Scenics is the uh, Briar Patch Bushes. And um, these are pretty good, though they do lack that something again. So using the same method we're just going to dip that into the glue and what I'm actually using just in this area there is I have some yellow grass uh, which is the fine turf And that just adds another level of flowers. And with that glued in position, again just going back into the hues, we're just going to ascent over the top of that and round the base. Again, just to use those to blend the thing in again. So there we go, um, the techniques are as simple as that really, um, the products they're not expensive um, and it really does just bring all those grassy areas completely to life and uh, definitely something I'm going to use a lot of as I go around uh, the layout now so anyway thanks for watching um, as always if you've got any questions comments please do drop them down in the comment section and um, I should be back again soon with another video.